The security guard had led him to the daytime studio, which allowed them to contain him efficiently. We are talking about a 19-year-old suspect. He's suspected of a number of crimes at the moment. He's currently in custody at Hilfersham Police Station and we are presently questioning him. Dutch police say the weapon that the 19-year-old was carrying is a fake. The incident is prompting security procedures here to be reviewed. Joanna Simpson, Sky News. Now, are you worried about what your children are eating? Our main story today has been this new research out which shows that one in three youngsters in England is now obese or overweight. It's a major study. It's been going on for 20 years. Now, the obesity expert, Dr. Paul Sasha, is in our central London studio. Good morning to you, Dr. Sasha. I mean, 20 years we've been looking at this. What are the conclusions that you're drawing from the report this morning? Well, we are seeing some, you know, parent stabilization, particularly for younger children when it comes to overweight or obese. Although this isn't really backed up by the annual measurements we have in England, which is the National Child Measurement Program, which still showed in the last year um, overweight and obesity rates were increasing. I think overall the big picture is we still have one in three children that are overweight or obese, and as a society we still need to um, have this issue, child and adult obesity, as a main priority for, for society and for our governments to really start tackling this issue as opposed to just constantly talking about it. There may be people watching at home who think, well, you know, my, my child will grow out of this. You know, they, you know what kids are like when they reach a certain age. They, they seem to be stretched up several feet within, <laughs> within the space of a couple of months. But what are the realistic problems that actually obese children will face as they move into adulthood? Well, actually, the research doesn't back up, you know, the notion of puppy fat children growing out of it. We actually know that the majority of children who are obese will grow up to become obese adults. And therefore, it's really important that we start to support families by providing them with access to programs like MEND at My Time Active, programs that have been proven to actually help families live healthier lifestyles and to try and change some of the unhealthy behaviors early on in life so that children have a much better chance of growing up to be fit, healthy and happy. What is going wrong here in terms of exercise and diet? Is this something the children are doing or, or, or actually does the, the blame, if there is to be blame on this, fall on the, par on the parents' shoulders? I don't think it's helpful to blame parents. Obviously, parents love their children and they try and provide them with, with the best environment they can growing up. But I think as a society, the blame is really um, on us as a society. The fact that we've allowed ourselves to live lifestyles where it's much easier to be unhealthy, to eat unhealthy foods, than it is to eat the healthy food or to be more physically active. Um, we know that there's a range of different types of interventions and programs that have been shown to be effective. Um, however, they just aren't being provided or delivered in any kind of systemic way. And what we see across the UK is kind of piecemeal intervention and interventions happening here and there. And this is due to the fact that we are not investing in obesity prevention and, and management. In fact, we know that obesity, the, the economic and the social cost of obesity are around 47 billion pounds per year, yet we're investing less than 1% of the social costs in obesity prevention. So something really needs to change. Dr. Sasha, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Well, coming up in just a moment, 50 years since Sir Winston Churchill's state funeral. We'll look forward to today's commemorations with the historian, Dr. Kate Williams.